Hello friends, today I'm going to show you how to make this dulce de leche macarons. They feature chocolate shells and a delicious dulce de leche feeling. I have a video showing how to make dulce de leche. I'm going to link it down below. But my favorite method to make dulce de leche for a macaron feeling is using the pressure cooker because the dulce de leche will be super firm and it will hold up nicely. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I post new videos every week. So first we're going to make the chocolate shells. Place a bowl over a pan with barely simmering water. Then add sugar and egg white powder to the bowl and whisk them together. The egg white powder is optional, you don't have to use it. Then add the egg whites and whisk the mixture until the sugar has completely melted. It should take a couple of minutes. You can test by touching the mixture and if you don't feel any sugar granules, you can remove it from the heat. Then transfer the syrup to the bowl of a stand mixer. Start whisking on low and then gradually increase the speed to medium and then to medium high. And continue to whip the meringue until stiff peaks are formed. When you pull up the whisk, the peak should be shooting straight up. They should not be bending down to the side. Here I'm transferring the meringue to this bowl so I can show the macaronage process a little bit better. Then pour the sifted powdered sugar, almond flour and cocoa powder into the stiff meringue. And I also like to add a little bit of brown food coloring to deepen the color. Start folding with a spatula. We're gonna fold the batter until it has the perfect consistency. And here you can see towards the end of the macaronage, I like to always squeeze the batter and drag it along the walls of the bowl to get rid of any major air bubbles. You know it's time to stop folding when the batter is flowing slowly and effortlessly off the spatula. And you should also be able to draw several figure eights with the batter that's flowing off the spatula. Transfer the batter to a piping bag fitted with a round tip. Place the piping bag directly 90 degrees over the center of each macaron template. Apply gentle pressure and carefully pipe for about 3 to 5 seconds. Then bang the trays against the counter or against the palm of your hands to release any air bubbles. And also use a toothpick to pop any remaining air bubbles from the surface of the macarons. Then let the shell sit and dry for 20 to 40 minutes. It depends on how humid the day is and how wet the batter was. The macarons are ready to be baked when you can touch the surface of a macaron and it doesn't stick to your finger. Bake in the preheated 325 Fahrenheit oven for about 15 to 20 minutes. To decorate, place a little bit of dulce de leche in a piping bag and snip the end with scissors. Then pipe a drizzle on top of the shelves. Thank you. 
After piping the drizzle, I placed salted caramel colored bowl crisp pearls on top of the dulce de leche drizzle. And to finish the decoration, I put a little bit of edible gold leaf on top. Then place the dulce de leche in a piping bag. Pipe a small amount of dulce de leche on the bottom shelves. And then top with a decorated shelf. Place the macarons in the fridge and let them mature overnight before serving. I hope you enjoyed today's video. The full recipe is going to be on my blog, paisantacos.com. I'm going to put a link down below in the description box. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!